Hello. Okay, it says recording is limited to 30 minutes, but with my crappy storage space or whatever, it's already flashing red, so I don't know how long I'll be able to record. And <laughs> we'll see. Uh, since I had to pause, I went and got the other pants. They're John Blair, not the Scandia Woods, so they're the same company but a slightly different brand. 42M, which I think is the 29 length. 99% cotton, 1% spandex. And as you can see, though, which I think I showed in a previous video, they're a little bit more faded than the 501s, but they've been washed almost about the same. So that's a pretty fair comparison. Okay, so for those of you who are confused, this is part B. If you haven't already watched part A of the unbranded selvage denim, video go back and do that first and this will make more sense okay so i'm going to finish reading the tag on the 14.5 ounce and we'll have to talk really briefly about the 18 ounce although there won't be much to say anyway on that um i'm not going to read that tag i assume it says the same thing uh, indigo may transfer when damp or dry. I read that, right? Wash and dry separately for best results. Hang dry. Okay, I think I was touching on that. Um, hang dry doesn't work here at all in winter. They'll just get ice on them instead of actually drying. Um, so, yeah. Um, but that's for best results. Now, as I think I was saying, that, that selvage denim can warp and the weave can get tighter and that's where your issues can happen if you dry them too much but these eco-friendly modern dryers don't cook my clothing correctly i used to be able to set the old dryers for more time and i could adjust by what i knew the clothes were and not have that issue but i can't do that anymore um to preserve color wash inside out in cold water so again we're washing in cold water i don't know how much shrinkage we're supposed to get in cold water and without really drying them so but it says may shrink up to three percent i don't know how to quantify three percent of a pair of pants and then at the bottom it says made in china i thought these were coming from japan on a boat and they were going to take three weeks to get here but it's a canadian company but it's a chinese import so i feel slightly ripped off as you can well imagine now these were supposed to be straight leg but the legs are like wider than my face um so taking the levi's unwashed and these unwashed and putting them together we can see that i have quite a bit of extra material that needs to shrink in the width and definitely in the length if you saw the thumbnail or you see the community photos uh they're way too long but now that you know in the levi's you can see here where the seat is compared to where the seat is on these i don't know if it's canadians or chinese who don't know how to measure pants for me or americans or whatever but um you can see there's almost an inch shorter here on the selvage ones than there is on the levi's so this is already too short for my body i can't really tuck in a shirt and so if this shrinks from here to here, I don't know how I'm supposed to wear these without exposing myself to the public in, you know, the nether regions. Um, I don't, I don't know how I'm supposed to wear them comfortably already without adding suspender rivets. I have some Duluth ones that I can pop in here and just throw these belt loops away or whatever. And, uh, yeah, because I don't think I can wear this with a belt comfortably and expect them not to be too short. I don't know who wears their pants like that. And I don't care. Um, so I wish I had ordered only one pair because they don't allow returns. They only allow exchanges. And I don't know what the hell I would exchange this for if all of their pants are cut in the same ridiculous manner. So what a ripoff. What a waste of money. I will never buy anything from this company again. Uh I will, like I said, I might, I might wash and wear these as an experiment more, you know, more just out of duty. I could try and return the heavier duty ones for another pair of these, 
and probably lose some money on the deal because I think they just give you a gift card and then I'd have, I don't know, 30 bucks on a gift card that I would never ever use because nothing on their site is probably 30 bucks. Um, so I'm probably forgetting a bunch of stuff that I said before the first video failed to post and I don't remember, but uh, these are the second pair that I ordered that are hot off the presses. These are the the Nepi Indigo 18 ounce. Now these were 130 bucks or something, so even bigger ripoff if I can't get them to fit. Uh, can take them to a tailor. I think I said this already in the other video, but I'll say it again and hopefully it'll post. Because uh, I have a guy who can do leather and uh, bomber jackets and that sort of thing. So it's not like a regular tailor where they can't handle heavy duty fabric so i might be able to get them modified in the width and the length of the legs as necessary but what i can do about the seat and the crotch i don't know i wanted to show off before i forget i showed this off before now the hem see the hem is nothing like a levi's hem it's it's kind of just this little quarter inch of a nub or whatever but this side doesn't look like anything but this side is the side that everybody gets all excited about where they want to cuff them up and show off this selvage that's supposed to be so impressive. This isn't even squared off, though. It's kind of really poorly done. And I don't know if all the seams are like that because I haven't looked them over that much because once I tried them on and saw how ridiculous they fit, uh, I just didn't care anymore how if they're good construction or not because they're already not good construction if they're a bad fit, and this company is a bad fit. So, fool me once, like I said. Um, so, yeah, I'm trying to rush, but I'm also unhappy. So, you know, whatever. So that's two companies in a row that I hope crash and burn and die as far as I can say. Um, and I'm not uh, going to sugarcoat these things anymore. Uh, I, don't, I don't know uh, why these influencers keep trying to tell you that these things are a good value when they're not. Uh, so if anybody has any questions or comments or whatever, check back in about a month and I'll have an update anyway.